who's going to present the first carbon project? Or should we go quickly? I think we can just go quickly around the room so everybody presents one in his country. Just briefly, tell us where is the project, which kind of habitat, is this about a mangrove, about the rainforest, about a savanna? Second question, maybe is it reforestation or avoided deforestation? You try to tell us how big. Are we talking about 2,000 hectares or 200? And then also maybe the annual emissions reductions of this project. Every year, how much they estimate they avoid throwing in the atmosphere. And then the last one, if it's already verified or not. Ready? Okay, we start here, that we have somebody ready. Let's start. So where is this project? Yeah, this project is in the Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo. So a project in DRC? Uh, it is a, a tropical forest. Mm -hmm. um, the project is uh, exactly in the Mayan Dombe. Mm -hmm. The Mayan Dombe mm -hmm. Plus project developed and managed by uh, a venture of carbon leaders uh, and uh, wildlife work carbon. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is targeted to protect 248,956 200, hectares. 248,000 hectares. So this is a very big project uh, of avoiding deforestation. Avoid, avoiding deforestation. Avoiding deforestation. Big numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, it is estimated that it will deliver uh, over 175 megaton of carbon dioxide over 30 years. And uh, every year, uh, the estimated annual emission per year is uh, 5,671,000 tons of CO2. 671,600. Do we hear that? Every year, this project will save 5 million tons of carbon. Yeah. And the verification Via Congo, report, uh, avoiding deforestation. The, verific the verification report was uh, first issued in 2012. So the verification was done in 2012, so I'm guessing they are already selling because yeah. that's a few years now. I think it's very interesting. This is the, actually the project I presented you before about DR Congo, where the problem was about land tenure, that not all the local communities agreed on how other people may have used their land rights. So very interesting. So who wants to go first? Hmm? Yes, an example from Tanzania. Yes, uh, this is related to reforestation of degraded grassland in Uchindile and Mapanda mm -hmm. in Tanzania. And uh, actually what happened is like the, the area has been degraded by frequent anthropogenic led wildfires to the grassland, so they want like to Reforestation. Reforest, eh? So it's a reforestation project of degraded grasslands. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How many hectares? The hectares we are 18,379. 18,000, eh? This is much less than 200 something that we had there, eh? Yeah? With what they call a plantable area of 10,800. I don't know what they mean. Mm -hmm. but so maybe they plant some and then they let natural re regeneration in the others as we saw in Kivale, yeah? Exactly. Are they verified already? Yes, exactly. They've been verified twice. Very good. And they verify, verify some of the 12 suede industry service. Mm -hmm. Some it? consultant, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So it has been verified first and then second. And the estimated annual emission reduction is 25,000. 25,000, eh? Before we were at 500 million, eh? Just to have an idea of numbers. Our next colleague here Thank will you. present us for... Uh, as I'm coming from Rwanda, and there is no date of our country. <laughs> 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 I selected uh, any country, and uh, that's Senegal. Good, interesting. Yeah. And then the project is the Jatropha Grove Forest in the graded area. Mm -hmm. So it's a reforestation project of degraded land using Jatropha. Yes. Which, as I guess some of you may know, Jatropha is used to make biofuels as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then it is, it, it is applied on a surface area of 1,400 hectares. So small, 1,400 hectares, not too big. Yeah. Yes. And it, is a, it will end in 2020. So it's soon to end, so this has been going on for some time. Do you yes. have the annual estimation? Yes, 
the, in the project they're saying that the total number of crediting years, uh, the total estimated ERS, mm -hmm. uh, it is 52,735. Tons of carbon. Ton, yes. And every year they get, I think uh, it's on the... Every, uh, the annual average. Yeah. It is 2,152. So 2,000 tons per year. Eh? Also smaller, but also we think that this is a dry environment. We are using chatrofa, that it's a small bush. Mm. So it doesn't grow that fast. Eh? Yeah. Very good. Next one from Malawi. From Malawi, I couldn't get the other documents <laughs> to open. But it's a project targeting three protected areas. Mm -hmm. um, what did I get again? And um, this is Nika, Waza, Nkota Kota Wildlife, Wildlife Reserve. Mm -hmm. And um, the problem is exploitation of forest resources by local communities. Local communities, yes. And the goal is to reduce deforestation. So it's avoiding deforestation again, eh? Yes, avoiding mm -hmm. deforestation. So how big? The project yeah, I area. Get to the document okay, no problem. They, uh, Did you get the number of uh, carbon per yeah, year? The yes. The number of carbon is um, what did I get? Um, uh, two hundred and ten four twenty one. Two hundred and ten. Ten thousand Two hundred and ten. That's yeah. That's not bad. Two hundred ten thousand. Four hundred and twenty one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Our next example comes from Ghana, I guess. Yeah. Is there a Sorry, just might be in the middle. <laughs> you might need to download first. Okay. So I have here a reforestation of a degraded forest reserve in Ghana. So this is reforestation of a forest reserve that has been degraded. Eh? So they're planting trees. Yes? So uh, the reforestation aims at reforestation of uh, 15,000 hectares. 15,000 hectares, forest. similar to the one we saw in Kibale, yeah? Yes, and currently it's about uh, 1,506 hectares in the Asubima Forest Reserve, mm -hmm. Shanta region. And the project foresees an average expansion of 100,000 hectares per, per year. year. So every year they increase planting. Yes. And every year how many tons of carbon they avoid uh, emitting? If you can see, usually 8,000. 8,000. It's a little bit small, eh? But that is the thing, trees grow slowly. Good, no, it's good. Next example. It is Kenya Agricultural Carbon Project. Mm -hmm. From Kenya? It's, uh, a forestation project. Reforestation, eh? Reforestation. Mm -hmm. And it has been carried on 45,000 hectares. So 45, yeah? Yes, and it's annual. Average emissions reduction, it's 99,000. So they have 99,000 um, tons of carbon that they avoid to emit every year. It's pretty high. Yeah. Yeah. Good? Reforestation in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Next example? Oh, your colleague stole your project. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Mine is from Tanzania. Tanzania again? The project is Mujumita Community Forest Project. Uh, the project want to 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 restore the the, the air and plant deforestation. So, so it's reforestation, eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, for forty one thousand hectares. hectares. Forty one thousand. Mm -hmm. And. The annual estimated annual emission reduction is forty six thousand. Thousand. So every year they plan to save forty six thousand yes. tons of carbon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next example is the constant the Uganda. Uganda? Mm -hmm. To establish and manage Two thousand still one hectare of reforestation. Reforestation, eh? We are planting trees in two thousand something hectares. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the project is for eight years. It's a short project, yeah. Yeah, and the production of carbon is estimated of eleven thousand ton of year. carbon per year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a small project, but very target. Yeah. Sometimes it's easy to go small, eh? Easier to control, yeah. 
Next project. Thank you. Um, uh, my project uh, was based in Madagascar. Madagascar. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's about the carbon emission reduction project in the forest corridor. It's a forest corridor, yeah? Yes, and Bostra and whatever, something. <laughs> so it's avoiding deforestation yes. of this corridor, eh? Yes? And uh, they wanted to, to restore and the, around 300 kilometers of wow. hectares. And they chose this project because there are there was there were many endemic, endemic species endemic endangered species. and endemic species mm -hmm. and over 800 species of plant and the 300 species of animals endangered yes wow and, and uh, how many tons of carbon per year they plan to uh, save the estimated annual emission reduction is 20 to uh, is 220,000 uh, Tons of carbon per yes. year. And I can see that they are still selling their, their credit because the last update was in 2017. So it's recent. Very yes. good. Very big project as well. Eh? 200,000 tons of carbon per year. Yes, our next project is from South Africa and I think it's a bit smaller. No, I changed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but still in South Africa, I just changed the location. Okay. This one is in Port Elizabeth, mm -hmm. in a private game reserve, and they are restoring the thicket, the degraded thicket. So it's like a degraded shrubland. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. big bomb. And the estimation of the reduction is 44,206. And they are using the game reserve of 5,000 hectares. So it's a small game reserve, 5,000 hectares, but actually they get quite a lot every year eh, by doing this restoration project. So forest restoration. Good. Our next example? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, yes. Yes. Uh, this one is happening in Zimbabwe, uh, south shore of the Lake Kariba, uh -huh. uh, in an estimated area of 784. How much, sorry? Hectares. 784. Seven, it's a small project, yeah? Yes, hectares of forest. So what they are doing, they're trying to reduce the deforestation around that area. So it's avoiding deforestation project, eh? Yes. Yeah. And also uh, they are trying to have uh, the community uh, project to sustain. So uh, alternative uh, livelihoods like yes. honey. And so they have mm -hmm. beekeeping, they have uh, agriculture as well, cultivation. Mm -hmm. So their estimated annual emissions uh, is 6.5 million. Annual? Annual. 6.5 million? Yes. And how big is the surface then? Well, they're saying they're doing it on a 784.9 hectares of there, it must be thousand. Forest. Must be big. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Next one from Kenya, I think. From Kenya. Mm -hmm. I well. changed the location to a high potential area. <laughs> so you uh, no longer work in the dry land. No, <laughs> it's, it's it's the the ridiculity for me of the size of land and the numbers is exposed uh, in this project because mm -hmm. they've got 853 group members uh, doing 353 hectares. On so. 353 hectares, eh? This is a very small uh, project, yes. yes. And then Are they planting trees yeah, or yeah, saving trees? They're, they're planting? planting. Uh -huh. The one for us has made lots of sense because it was a huge area with actually mm -hmm. no community. Is this a teast? The one for this is the teast. The one for ah. Chiu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and almost that was close to 700,000 hectares. So how much is the annual reduction? It's 14,000. 14,000. So it's reforestation, eh? This is, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, reforestation. But we can see uh, so far, eh, the numbers change a lot. Yeah. Some are very small projects mm -hmm. with few hectares. Yes. Some are very big. Of course, the small projects will get less money. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, they're much easier to organize. Try organizing something of 450,000 hectares. Eh? How many communities you need to get to sign? For me, so these, they start very small. Yeah. But maybe at least it's feasible or like the other one that was only eight years project but very specific what we do mm -hmm. so it depends and one thing that i didn't say before is that sometimes one project builds on from another 
So you may start small as a kind of testing. It works, now you get all your neighbors interested and you do a bigger project now. Our next example, I think, is from Uganda. Yeah, this is a test program. Uh -huh. uh, mainly planting trees mm -hmm. on private farms by subsistence farmers. Mm -hmm. So small scale farmers? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it was registered in uh, 2013. Mm -hmm. And currently, over 5,000 farmers are involved. Mm -hmm. It's uh, to take 30 years. And uh, the reduction is estimated at 7,787. Mm -hmm. So every year the reduction emission is 7,000, which is not a lot. But I know a little bit about the this project. So this is one of the projects I was saying that they start to small. 7,000, I mean, sorry, you said 5,000 farmers, but they replicate it. So if it works, you know how to do your calculations, you know who to contact for your consultant, and you see the neighbors like the idea, maybe this is something you can also think of. You start small, but you can replicate and grow. So I think we can just wrap up. So I think the idea for you guys was to see a little bit what is out there, which kind of projects are there, and um, just even to get ideas if you think about it. And um, I think it's a very good tool because as you've seen, the documents are all there. You can download, you can check how they make the calculations. You can even see because every document has a year you can even see how long it, take, it took them to make these calculations and some of the projects even have comments and people post it online. So if you are thinking for ideas or you have time one evening, I, I suggest you have a look at which type of projects are there. And some countries are a little bit forward. If you look at projects in Tanzania or Uganda, there's a lot more than in other parts of Africa. But maybe if we are from Benin, which is a bit drier and we don't have any project, we can look at what's going on in Ghana or Burkina, there's quite a few in Burkina or Senegal as one of our colleagues presented. So I think it's a good place, interface to have ideas and we only look at the BCS and in the website you can also cl click the second kind of window that says CCV. This is the ones I said that you get certified and you get a little bit extra money for dealing with indigenous communities or involving the communities or taking care of biodiversity and, and I think it's also good if you have time to compare because you will see that in some parts of the world, people tend to go more on getting also the CCV. Anyway, if we are making all the calculations, as long as I have one survey, maybe I can just add, if I surveyed the birds, now I can add the mammals and get. So with a little bit of an extra investment, we can get a lot more money. And the thing is that we don't know what might happen. So as my prices might hopefully rise, not go lower, we can see what happens in the future.